You know, they always told us that America was the land of opportunity. They studied the budget, significant contributions from UC-related people. They studied the development of the campuses and student activism. And I, like them, I want to make a huge change for our people. I need a dollar, dollar. intervention I've never like protested in a way or like this way or like I've seen them before and I never really thought I was gonna be part of one because I thought it was just so much planning and there's battle lines being drawn nobody's right if everybody's wrong young people speak in their minds I'm getting so much resistance from behind. Every time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Well, I was a little nervous at first for the presentation, but as it went on, it kind of got became more and more natural. At first, it was kind of awkward, and then I was like, "Well, this is like what it was what was supposed to happen." I felt calm. I felt like I knew what I was doing. Since something needs to be done, I thought I can just bring out this awareness for others to see and not just, you know. But at the same time, before that, I was like, you know, uh, what are you going to write? Like, what? Are, how will people react to it? You know, you don't know how people, what people will think. I wrote about a library in um, Basically, I had a story about um, a transfer student who felt a bit disconnected from the campus because she wasn't able to um, attend the university um, for four years because she didn't have the funds. She actually funds to was on her own ever since freshman year, and um, having been on her own, she's having difficulties making ends meet. And decided to quit school for a year so his little brother could continue his first year at college. You know, a year ago, or so. since fee increases started, her father has had to move out of three homes. Her two brothers and her father are in a one-bedroom apartment in Los Angeles so that she can continue to go here uh, to UCSD. So by the end of like, last year, she decided to go back home and help her family by um, working. So she basically you know, stopped her from having the best education that she could get. It's not just like a, oh, it only affects people who don't have any money or... I don't think it has really affected my experience too much, but it has affected other people. Even though students were affected, so are um, people who work for the UC. Because I'm a student who pays my own way, I know that this is going to affect me personally. Not only herself, but her family has had to make serious sacrifices to keep her here. People are getting furloughed, people are being laid off. I, I did have a lot of concern. I was worried if I was going to be able to make it through. It was like the whole sentiment of people, real people being affected by the budget crisis. Heavy hitter. You don't see a lot of protests like that at school, and especially, um, you know, done by students together. I think just the way we did it, everyone was really like, what are you doing? I think it stirred up interest. I think it stirred up the curiosity and it made people ask what we were doing. And it definitely drew a lot of attention and started up a lot of discussion.
We have at least 32 stories being written down on Library Walk that are serious stories that, have, that, that represent people's lives. And the issue at UCSD is that they're not being heard. Oh, no, you, you can't read the stuff on it. It's, it's about the budget. As we were crawling, you'd hear, like, oh, what are they doing? And, like, all of a sudden people are talking about, you know, the budget crisis. But no one is really hearing the individual stories from persons. Um, the issues are more of, like, a collective problem, you know. So it's just a great representation of how these persons are not being heard and how it's time um, for the university to give them an opportunity. the justice in Palestine law. Our class basically made a collective decision, so we decided, you know, like, this is a general um, topic about access that we've been focusing on um, throughout the quarter. University system would have zero tuition dollars. When the connection was made in my head that the two demonstrations could be used together, to represent what both of what both of our organizations were trying to get across, that's when I started writing, you know, in Doll Oppression, or a few times I wrote Free Palestine. They kind of like joined in with us, and, and we wrote stuff um, for them, and then they kind of just cheered us on and kept us going too. It was all about an issue of like access, of having your own space, of having your own voice, of being heard. That was the point where I felt like. I had made a real connection not only with myself but with other student body and with other people watching. So to see everybody coming together to really, um, you know, stand up for something, I thought that was that was my favorite part. Mr. B repeats. After the demonstration, I was uh, I felt completely different. I felt good, kind of accomplished. I felt really good about myself. I felt that what we had done meant something to more people than I thought it was going to. So it was really cool because we were the buzz on campus, the class that did the crawl. I was like, oh, that's me. <laughs> Based on the response we've gotten from um, faculty and other people on campus, I mean, I feel really proud about what we did. We're kind of like, we're able to speak up for people that normally didn't really have a chance to speak up. I think my favorite part would be that um, all of us, the whole class, being there doing this. So I think it was just like that everyone felt the same way, everyone felt like, yeah, it was like a pretty big deal. When you're writing it, you don't realize how much you're writing or what you're writing about, and then to see it at the end of seeing what everybody else did too, and how it overlapped with what you were writing, like it was a nice feeling to 